How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. We also got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. So today we're going to be talking about Sensionix. You guys know how much I love this company and you already know why I'm very bullish on this particular play. But there also has been some updates, so we're about to get into it. So first thing is we got to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below in the description but if you are a shareholder or you are considering to take a position I highly suggest you watch the full entire video so the first thing we're going to be going over is an update on their 180 day device a study came out which was the promise study showing what the numbers actually look like so we're going to be going on CK Alpha and going through that and the reason why I feel like it carries a lot of importance behind it especially if you're bullish on Sensionix then secondly we're going to be doing a technical analysis taking a look at the overall price action. Since that study came out, we've been seeing Sensionix has been on a tear. And I feel like there's still a lot more room for upside and it can pull back if you're considering to take a position, but we'll go over all of that. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the short interest information. We wanna know what is the overall market sentiment for the stock, especially at the current price of where it's at. Is it positive or is it negative? And does the market believe that, hey, this price needs to come down where we're about to figure that all out and then when all of that is done i'll be giving you guys my final thoughts so let's get into it so we're now on seeking alpha we're going to be taking a look at why sensionix has been rallying and why the news is definitely going to be bought in well for their future so here it comes sensionix rallies as cgm data shows promise against rivals and this was actually updated on june the 4th is when it came out sorry sensionix holdings is extending the post market gains today with a sharp rise in reaction to the impressive data demonstrated by its next-gen EverSense glucose monitoring system for up to 180 days in a prospective trial. So just to kind of give you guys a quick bit of an update, if you're not aware, I know many of you are already, but I'm just got to put it out there. So what they're looking for for the 180-day device and what investors are looking forward to is it getting FDA approval, all right? They already have approval for the 90 days, so we're looking for it for the 180-day device. Across 49,000 paired points, the overall mean absolute relative difference against reference value is 9.1 for the primary sensor and the company said comparing that with 8.5 for the SBA sensor over 12,000 paired points. MARD is considered to be the most popular method of measuring the accuracy of a glucose monitor. In terms of MARD, Sensionix monitor appears to perform neck and neck against rivals. And do keep in mind of the fact their rivals have much higher stock prices. G6, the latest iteration of the glucose monitors from Dexcom, has an overall MARD of 9, according to the Dexcom website. Meanwhile, Freestyle Libra 2 from Abbott has a combined MARD value of 9 0.3%, 9.2% for adults, and 9.7% for pediatrics, according to the website Diabetes Self Management. Even after more than a fourfold rise in value over the past 12 months period, the outstanding results could be another boost for a stock that has remained a favorite among seeking alpha authors. So taking all of that into consideration, Sensionix, yes, is competing very well against the big dogs with this data that is coming coming out. I'm not saying they're on the same level in regards to revenues and so forth. Let's just be clear about that. But as far as how the future is looking and when this 180 day device gets approval, at least we know that it's using a very accurate system and the data is showing that it is very reliable and it is credible. So we're gonna be doing a technical analysis for Sensionix. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So we ended up closing the day at $2.91, being up 41 0.95% on the day. Definitely some strong movements. If we take a look how it tested on the low, it was at $2.52. Then on the high, testing at $3.20. So for your information, just to let you know, the chart we're taking a look at is a one-year daily chart. So we could see it was definitely on a bullish move when those study information came out. You could see that it was right on the 21-day EMA over here, and it literally just gapped up 
One of the things we want to keep in mind of the fact, though, is what's going to be happening come on Monday. So we know clearly ended up testing 320, which was an area of resistance. But if we're able to actually get to this area and actually surpass it, the next area that I'll be looking out for will be right here around 340. If we pass 340, then we're easily going to be getting into that 350 range fairly quickly here, even getting close to 371. So there's a lot to look forward to in regards to this week if it does decide to pull back then i'll be looking for it to actually stay above on this 100 day here at two dollars and 62 cents if this area does particular end up breaking then of course we have a gap full here that we have to look forward to also if we take a look at the rsi down below of course it is looking fairly hot being at 70 so it is in the overbought territory but at the same time this is a stock that has a lot of short interest in it and again those study numbers were very promising and we already know what we're waiting on in regards to the 180 day device and fda approval so i'm looking forward to seeing this bullish behavior continue for next week and yeah i feel like sensionic should be able to perform well in the coming week so we're now on fintel we're going to be taking a look at the short interest information for sensionics so we take a look at the short volume ratio it was at 35% and this is taking close as of Friday. What does this look like? So out of 220.3 million shares I were traded, 77.6 million of those shares were sold short. So very significant here. If we take a look at the short shares availability, it is at 150,000. And if we take a look at the short borrow free rate, it is at 5.64%. Taking a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we could see here on on June the 3rd, it was as low as 5.26. And then on the end of the day, Friday, making this jump to 35. Do keep in mind of the fact it made a strong run on Friday on some big time news that came out from their study. And this is part of the reasons why I'm not too surprised that shorts came back to attacking it. You could see previously it has not been at 35, especially going as far back as May the 21st. So taking all of this into consideration, there's gonna be a lot of volatility in this stock but do keep in mind of the fact there's definitely some short squeeze potential here especially if the company continues to make headways in regards to their cgm devices so for my final thoughts for sensionics I definitely do see a lot more upside in this stock price. As you can see on Friday, it definitely showed a lot of price strength and I'm looking forward to seeing this momentum continue come on Monday and as this week progresses. Also do keep in mind of the fact due that it's a penny stock, there's gonna be a lot of volatility. So as far as adding to your position, I see there's gonna be a lot of opportunities here to look out for pullbacks and so forth. Do keep in mind, as we take a look at how well the promise study was, as the CEO was saying that, you know what, he was very impressed with the safety and the accuracy data. And this is the biggest deal we need to realize here. This is for the 180 day device, which they want to get FDA approval for. When we take a look at the other competitors, if we take a look at Dexcom, I think they have a 10 day device a 10 day and this is also a stock that I think is over $300. Now, if we take a look at the other competitor, which is Abbott, which is just over $100 and their device is only for 14 days. While Sensionics has a device going to get FDA approval, that's what they wanna do, which is 180 days. So I see a big time opportunity here when it comes to Sense. If you guys know already, I already have have my position. I've talked about this stock many times on the channel and I do feel one year to two years from now, you can definitely make a lot of profit here. As far as my price target is concerned, what I want to see within the first year it would be great to see it get back to those highs where it was in the $5 range and I'd like to see it get to six within a year. But this is only going to happen if we could see consistent improvements in their earnings reports and I do know the price will end up making a 
strong move when that 180 di 80 day device gets FDA approval. Do know that the 90 day device got approval. So that's why there's no doubt in my mind that the 180 will get approval as well. They're also working on another device that is 365 days. So taking all of this into consideration, the innovation that they have going on over there is something as far needs to have heavy consideration. So please add this video to your homework and your due diligence and feel like this and see if this is the right play for you. But just seeing how the competitors are and Sentionics is coming up with better technology than them, even though this stock is only trading, no, it looks like now it's about to be in the $3 range, but it was in the $2 and even pulled back into the dollar range while these other two competitors are well, one being at right around the $100 range and one being well over $100. I see something here. I definitely do see it. But again, we need to see consistent improvements. We know that they do have an agreement with Essentia over in Europe and they're doing a great job actually selling units. But at the same time, I feel like this 180 to 180 day device gets FDA approval. We could definitely see this stock move and it's good for anyone who's looking for some momentum here. And I almost forgot before I close this video out, let's first talk about the short interest. So we saw it was at 35%. We know anything that's 21% or higher has short squeeze potential. So the fact that this is at 35%, we're more likely to see volatility, but we can see some strong moves to the upside because shorts will be forced to sell if this stock begins to run up. And we saw a little bit of that going on on Friday, and that's why I was saying I want to see some continued momentum. So knowing that the short interest is this high is another reason to keep it on your radar because more good news that comes out and adds value to the company, price movement can get real serious. So do keep in mind of the fact since the short interest is at 35%, Look out for those pullbacks, look out for those volatility so you can end up having a good cost average in the end and ride this run up when it occurs. So that's what I wanted to update you guys on for today and I'll be talking to you real soon.